What's happening? Hello world, this is Johnny DeLuca and welcome to your second SQL Server tutorial. Today I want to talk to you guys about using SQL Server Management Studio. And as its name suggests, it manages things. You're going to be getting extremely familiar with SQL Server Management Studio as it's probably the most heavily used tool of all the SQL Server tools that there is. Okay, um, it's been around since SQL Server 2005, and uh, it's a very handy tool. Database administrators and SQL developers can configure other SQL Server components such as replication, availability groups, SQL Server agent, CDC, which is change data capture, and many other features that I'll be discussing in later tutorials. So, to get started, what I want to show you guys specifically today is how to use SQL Server Management Studio to create a basic solution and project. And to do so, we're going to go to Start, All Programs, SQL Server 2012, and then right here, SQL Server Management Studio. Wait a second. Alright. So, in this drop down here, you'll see database engine, analysis service, reporting services, integration services. We want database engine. That's what you're going to be using the most, and that's what we want right now. We'll cover those other topics in later tutorials. Make sure you select the uh, correct server name. And then authentication, there's two modes. You have Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. I have Windows authentication selected. And I'll cover authentication in a later tutorial as well. So go ahead and connect. All right, from here, what we're going to do to create solutions and projects is we're going to go up here to the file menu. We're going to go to new. We're going to go to project. Now you see we have two options here, SQL Server scripts and analysis server scripts. We want SQL Server scripts for this. So make sure you got that selected. And then down here you can name and then choose a name for your solution as well. I'm just going to leave it on the defaults for right now. And as you can see, you can also change the location. This is pretty run-of-the-mill stuff here. Just hit the browse button to do that if you would like to put it somewhere other than the default C drive location. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. All right. And then you'll see after you've done that, a new window has popped up. This is the Solution Explorer over here. If for some reason you don't see the Solution Explorer, go over here to the View menu, and then go down here and select, click on Solution Explorer. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do now is go over here to this folder in the Solution Explorer. We're going to go over here to Connections, and we're going to right-click that, and we're going to click new connection and then it brings us up this same window we saw when we first pulled up management studio basically we're going to want to make sure we have the correct server name typed in here and we're going to uh click ok and then after that we're going to go back over here to the queries folder and right click this and then we're going to select new query From here, this is the brand new query we just uh, created. We're going to want to change the name of that, so go ahead and right click that, rename, and we're going to change this to select server name. Uh, did I misspell everything? Nope. Darn. <laughs> Okay, and uh, make sure that you have the .sql at the end of it so it knows what it is. Okay, we're good to go there. Now, this is what's called the query editor. And in the query editor, I'm just going to type in real basic here. Select at at symbol server name. And when we're done with that, we're just going to go file save all so the purpose of this tutorial was real basic just getting your feet wet showing you how 
management studio works, showing you how the solution explorer works over here, showing you the query editor over here. This is where you're going to be writing all your PSQL queries and whatnot. And we'll be getting into more advanced PSQL stuff in later tutorials. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you need to go back and watch it again a couple times, please do so. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Oh, I just noticed something I want to clarify real quick, too. Um, you notice the red underlined squiggly here. Well, there's a couple things causing that. A couple little typos. For one, there needs to be a space here, and it's not server name. It's server. There we go. All right. Now, again, the purpose of this tutorial was just to show you, give you a brief overview of Management Studio how to create solutions and projects and show you Solution Explorer and to show you the query editor. But since we're here, we'll execute this query real quick and show you what happens. You go here to this execute button, select that guy, and there we go. There's our result. I'm not going to get into the reason why that that happened right now. We'll be getting into PSQL queries more advanced in later tutorials. But again, this was just getting your feet wet with Management Studio. Again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you're having fun watching these as much as I am recording them. Any comments or questions, leave them in the comments question section. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.